Hello everyone, it's Sayna to here. As you can guess, I want to talk a little bit about fireworks dispensers. To follow on from my first video, I decided to show a little bit about dispensers what I've managed to pick up along the way. Okay, so with dispensers you can trigger them in lots of different ways. From the old, just stick a lever on it and flip up and down repeatedly. Okay, so another method you could have is a pressure plate on the floor which could act as an early warning system for intruders. Step on the plate and send a redstone signal off. Another method you could have is the old minecart with a detector rail. Minecart goes across and triggers. This is just another little idea. So you don't want to be too close to your dispenser if you ever trigger them. Same principle though. Flick the lever on and off. It will detonate. Another method, if you don't want to be there spamming a lever, is you can make yourself a little basic clock system. This is one of the most simple clock systems you can make. Flick it on, and it will keep going until you turn it off. This is probably one of the simplest fireworks displays you could make. It's a clock running to a dispenser, but to be able to make that, need a few simple items. It's got in the chest. It's really, really simple to make. Just place a block, add a lever, add a repeater onto the side going into that block. Make sure you set it onto a two tick setting, otherwise you will burn your torch out. Torch goes on the other side, hook that up, and it should start going. And it's just a case when the redstone as far as you want, adding repeaters where necessary. Put the dispenser in and chuck in some fireworks. There's a good thing about this is you can slow it down. If you want to even slow it, you just add in more repeaters. Another variation of this. Just having more dispensers hooked into the display. More dispensers in there, the more rockets you can fire at once. Switch that off. Another idea that I've come across is you can actually launch fireworks sideways, which is quite good. Just use a torch tower to do this. From the clock, switch it on. And there they go. You could use this as well for base defense if you want, just replace the fireworks with arrows. And there you have arrow launchers. You can also use the fire charges in there as well, but they do go a very, very long way. Okay, so this is another fireworks dispenser system. This one is not my design. It's done by K1 Inc. It's absolutely fantastic. It's 13 dispensers, which will fire 13 rockets at the same time. And it's incredibly simple to build, which I'll show you in a minute. But it's absolutely fantastic to use. As you can see, lots of rockets all at the same time. I've used these to great effects on the Rowcraft Fireworks displays. As you can see, it's very simple, very easy to use. So I'll do now, switch around, and I'll show you how to build this one. Okay, so it's 13 dispensers torch, repeater, redstone, lever, and your block. As you can see, this is the area you're going to need. Very, very small. So the way I, I build these when I'm building them is put the block down first, flip my lever over, run my redstone to the first block, so what you want to do is put a block there. On this side, place a torch. Torch will go out. Dot a redstone. And then a repeater. Set it to two ticks to begin with. Any lower than that, and you'll burn the torches out. So then it's just a case of running around the edge with more dispensers. Add a dispenser there. Add a dispenser there, 
dot redstone and dot of redstone. The reason I put this bit on first is because it's just going to go off like crazy if you don't, which can be slightly irritating. But there, there we are, the lever, and it goes. So the good thing about this is you can actually alter the speed of the display. So you've got setting one, it's really quick, mid setting, and it's slowest setting, which is absolutely great. Recently built one of these for Stormy as a little present, and had some fun and added some chickens in there as well. Okay, another variation of this is just to have them in a line. You can have it weaving around however you want. And with this, it'll just keep repeating the pattern over and over again. Only thing you do have to watch out for is sometimes the signal from the clock will catch up with the rest of the repeaters. So kind of get like a little double blip there. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll show you the system that I use on the Roadcraft display. Hopefully it is relatively easy to use. Built it over here. Okay, so this is the system that I use when I build my displays. Hopefully it is easy to follow. I've color coordinated it to the best I can. So what we have is the yellow, a reset system. The blue, which is the main clock system and the lime green is a safety power system okay so with the power system why I designed it is that when you're running the display if you need to stop at any point what I found happening is the independent clock systems I've built won't stop so I had to figure out a way to be able to break that so what I did was make a safety system Flip that, and it pushes the blocks back into place. So that will allow the power to go through, and it will also give me the ability to stop the clocks wherever I want. Clock on the blue line. That is there. That is to be able to give power to the entire display. You can run it as long as you want, short as you want. I have a relatively long one, so I can run quite a few different branch lines off it, so I can create quite a few different loops. The pink wall, that is an independent loop system. With the orange wall, that's just so I can show you a, a power transfer route. Okay, so how do each of the loop system works? What it is, we have an observer, which picks up the redstone signal from the clock squirts out the back and it sends it to a piston. The repeater is on the four tick to allow the signal to be able to pass through to go into the loop. So what happens is it picks up the signal, squirts it around, the piston pushes the block out of the way, then that gives you an isolated circuit, which is great so you can run it to whatever timings you want. So to stop the piston going off at every time the observer fires. What we do is we put a repeater lock in there, which I found worked really, really well. And that is part of the safety system as well, so we can reset that or turn it on and off whenever we need to. So let's give it a whirl. So just make sure it's reset. Yeah. Power is on and let's have a look. So you can see there that the everything is firing as it should. The block has pushed the so the piston has pushed the block out of the way. So that isolates that circuit and allows it to go off whatever speed we wish. That's just a dispenser on its own, just so you can see how it works. So what we do, we need to stop it, turn it off. Okay. So you've noticed this dispenser has turned off. That circuit is still running and the repeater lock is still in place. When we flip that off, it all stops. To get the system ready to go again, all I need to do is hit the re reset button and everything's back to where it goes.
Okay, what I'll do now is I'll just flip over to the Rowcraft server so you can see what the underneath of the arena looks like. I do apologize for the state of it under there. It is very messy, it's not very tidy and not very elegant, but it is fully functional and does exactly what I need it to do. So what I'll do, go over there now and you can have a little look. Okay, so the main difference under here is that I'm actually using observers to trigger the dispensers above them. The main reason I've done this is so that if I want to I can move the dispensers into different locations so we can alter the display slightly. And above that we've got the nice slab roof just so we can hide all of the redstone underneath. So you can see it's same type of layout, just a little bit more messy because a lot of it's running underneath. Main power, safety on and off, and the reset system. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll head back. Okay, so here we are back on my redstone world. Behind me is a little bit of a display I've made for you. What is our turnaround? Give you an overhead view of what it's like. This is what you can make once you get used to it. Obviously with some parts you may need to dig down underneath so you can route the redstone around to get it to where you want to go. As you can see, pink is for the different circuits. Blue is your main power line. So what we've got is the four pink circuits, two towers and a pod at the end. A little zoom down so you can have a There we are. Hopefully this makes sense to you. It can be a little bit difficult to put together. I found in some cases it takes a little bit of tinkering and just reordering the way the observers and the pistons go. But don't you need to come in at a different side or just change the other side to where it needs to be. But once you get used to it, they can go together quite quickly, these arenas. So what I'll do is I'll come back down and get ready and finish off with a little display for you. Okay, so what I'll do is reset the system, turn on safety power, flip the switch,
Okay, so there you go. Hopefully you have found this video helpful and informative. If you have, leave me a comment down below. Any questions, leave them down below as well. I'll try and get back to each and every one that's given to me. So till next time, stay safe and well.